Okay, so the last time I did a video on the Echo Flow was on this little bad boy, which was going to be the, well, the Echo Flow River Pro, which the one I have right here is the 720 watt hour capacity version, which is a really common one to go for because it can power everything from your household appliances and as uh, just your standard setup. But today we're not going to be talking about this. Instead, we're going to be talking about something a lot bigger. Say hello to the Ecoflow Delta 2. Now this is going to probably be the most overpowered item I've ever reviewed on the channel by far, which obviously in terms of backup power, this is going to be probably the biggest thing I've ever reviewed on the channel. But let's just get straight to what you need to know about this box and we get inside the box, of course. Okay, of course, with the box, it's a massive box. But on top, you will find some padding, which obviously is standard for a lot of their stuff which I definitely say they give pride to their own product. Of course, you will find your manual, which by the way, there is an app you can download for the EcoFlow. So you can basically monitor the output of the current system that you're using, depending on what setup you're going to be powering. So if you're going to be using this for your work setup, then this will be very useful to have the app to monitor how much battery life you have left before it's dead, basically. Now, of course, having this out, you can see how big it is. In fact, I'll go over the ports you need to know because obviously this compared to my other Echo Play, you can see the size difference and just where the ports are. And there's a big difference in between these things. Now also you can see the height is not that much of a difference and the width is not too much of a difference. But obviously the capacity that these can hold is really impressive. Now of course the River Pro that I have right here, this is the 720 watt hour capacity version and the Delta 2 that we have here, this is going to be able to hold a capacity of about 1024 watt hours, which is insane. But like I said, this video is not going to be talking about this, but this is here just to compare how massive this thing is. Now going to the right way to show this, which obviously you can see the big EcoFlow logo, you can see that this thing has tons of vents because obviously this thing can power a lot of stuff and on what they advertise that this thing can power is actually insane with the list. Now for the purpose of this video to not make it too long for you guys, obviously because with my content I like to keep it short, but basically the this thing can power power tools for less than an hour, which is actually not too bad for this type of unit. But if you are gonna be using this for indoor stuff, you can actually power so many things in terms of fridges, your setup that can probably last for a decent half a day at least. Depending on what your setup can actually output because obviously if you have something that drains a lot of power in terms of computers or even monitors or even TV screens, obviously depending on what washages those require, that depends on how much this battery will last for those systems. But this thing was able to keep up, well, two screens and tons of computers for a long period of time, which is actually impressive. Okay, so now that we got some of the main things you need to know about the power, let's go to the ports that you have for this unit because this thing has tons of ports and tons of ways you can charge it. So let's get to the first things you need to know. So sorry, first you do have two USB type A's, which are obviously going to be standard, but you do have two fast charging ports, which I think is going to be very useful. Now going down the road, we do have two 100 watts USB type C's, which is going to be very useful for a lot of people because obviously most devices nowadays do use USB type C's for charging or even just to, well, have quicker charging for your phones. Of course, you do have your button here, which will obviously make sure all these are going to be powered because obviously there's actually one way to manage to make sure this thing doesn't go out of battery by just leaving this stuff on when you're not going to be using it. Then of course you got your power button, which is a nice little orange button. Now you do have a screen here that, that will show you the stat. Let me just show you an example. This is obviously at 100% and it does show all the things you need to know in terms of how much wattage is being used, how much time is left, and obviously shows the percentage you have left. But now that we've got the front done, we're going to the back. Now going to the back, this is obviously where all the main ports are gonna be found. So we do have two normal plugs, depending on where you are from, depends on what type of plugs it's gonna be. But since I'm South African, these are gonna be the two main plugs. But after that, you do find two other small plugs, which are gonna be useful for a lot of devices in terms of TVs and so much more. Now, at the bottom here, you do have ways to basically power other things besides, you know, your standard plugs. You can actually power it like mini fridges with this, which is insane. Now, as you can see, there is a compartment here, which is also going to be some of the ways you can actually charge this unit, which obviously got the normal power cable. But if you do have the solar panels for this unit, then you will be easily able to actually just charges from solar panels. And of course there is one more port, which is going to be on the other side, which is going to just be for, if you do want to get an expansion storage, because you can actually get an extension for these type of power supplies, where you can basically get an extra battery, which can give it more battery life and last longer. 
Now going to the last bit of this video is also going over the pricing and what this is going to be best used for. Now of course, this is going to be pretty pricey depending on where you're going to get it from. If you're going to get it from Ecoflow themselves, it can be sometimes on special, but sometimes looking at other places, it's going to be a lot cheaper. Now of course, if you are not going to be needing such a big unit, you can easily just get this. But if you are going to be doing a lot of camping or even wanting to try out van life, for example, or you just need something that can power a lot of power tools, this thing is going to be a big priority to get for your own setups. Now the Delta 2, if you're going to get it from Amazon, which there will be a link in the description if you do want to get this for yourself, is going to be a price of $999, which is actually a decent price in terms of, well, other units you can get on the market. Now, like I said, this thing is actually insane and it does have lithium ion batteries, which does make it a bit better than other devices out there that are going to be used for UPSs. Now, the reason why I highly recommend these things for a lot of people is because I've used Ecoflow for a long time. We've been using them for at least about a year or two, especially since we are based here in South Africa, we had a lot of load shedding. And these things are very useful to have because they can power our systems and tons of setups, more specifically, even this, the smaller version. This was even able to power all our setups basically for about four hours with no issue. And the fact that you have something like this, which can power everything for a longer period of time so for example if there's going to be a power outage this is going to be a lot better to go for but if i had to say if i would recommend anyone to go for the delta 2 because of course it is a bigger unit it is going to be a lot more pricier i would definitely say it is going to be the best option to go for if you are going to need more power for your setup i mean if you're going to be powering a lot of other devices at once this is going to be better to use because obviously the smaller version i have here the river pro it is pretty good but it doesn't power much because of course it doesn't have the correct output it's going to be able to output about 1200 watts i believe but i'll put the correct numbers around here but this is going to be probably the best option to go for if you want to power more than just one setup because obviously it can power your living room it can power your fridge and it can also power your setup at the same time but well, let me know in the comments below what you think of the ecoflow delta 2 because i would recommend this for a lot of people and if you are in the market for a ups for your own setup or even just for campsites i would say this is going to be the best option to go for Hello, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next video. Be safe as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.